Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Little from 23. You're joining me for Choices and Stories. You play Sophomore Book 1, Chapter 10, Animal Instinct. And yes, Heroes is postponed. Just letting you know. The next morning, you meet James in the library to talk about the newspaper. And we'll talk about that at the end of the video, by the way. Good morning, Mizumi. Good morning. Got a new assignment lined up for me? I do. I want you to follow up on Chris's second chance scholarship initiative to see how its first recipient is doing. So, see if you can track down Zig and ask him some questions. Great. He'll be excited to share his story. I recommend asking him how he's adjusting to his transition, not acad not just academically, but also in terms of changing social scene that college offers. I'll head over to his place as soon as we're done here. Thanks, Mizumi. I know you'll come back with an article that uncovers his challenges, struggles, and triumphs. <clears throat> Anyone who reads it will see how the scholarship can help others like Zeg. Exactly. He glances down his laptop and his smile falters. The newspaper got you stumped? No, that's not it. Let me guess, worried about post-grad life? Something with your parents? Pining away for one Miss Rena Marcado? It's an interesting name. I want to go with parents. No, we've been gone good terms for a while now. I'm certainly glad to hear that, but if that's not the problem, then what is? Well, I've been thinking over some ideas for the new novel. Yeah, James, that's great. Mm, but nothing's sticking. All I seem to be doing is swallowing in writer's block. Oh, James. I totally get that. Are you still doubting yourself after L.A.? Why are you getting back into fiction now? I totally get it, actually. Do you remember all of my angst over how to end Professor Vasquez's book last year? Even Vasquez himself needed some college kid to humiliate herself at sorority parties for inspiration. He once made me go around the campus and give students fake bad news, just so I could describe their reactions in specific detail. It was horrible, actually. My point is, is that Vasquez struggled with writer's block, too, and we both consider him one of the greats. Just know that you're not alone in this. Thanks, Mizumi. Maybe I just need to step back and let my ideas percolate a little more. You help James feel better about his writing. I know you'll get through this bout of writer's block, James. I'm always here for you to bounce ideas off of. We'll most definitely take you up on that. You know what you need? A coffee. Yes! He said it! Inspiration, coffee, and a few hours to quiet hours to concentrate. Well, that sounds fine too, but I was going to suggest an adventure. Something to get your mind working in unexpected and creative ways. Hmm, I like the sound of that. Do, do you have something in mind? How about I take you roller skating? Leave you to work in peace. I know how single-minded you get when you're working. Much appreciated. We'll do something creative and unexpected another time. Now, I expect your novel's first book is in my inbox by the end of the week, Mr. Ashton. You're giving me deadlines now? I just can't wait any longer than that to read your next great work of fiction. Consider me motivated. I'll see you later, Mizumi. <clears throat> After parting ways with James, you text Sig to tell him about your interview. And he invites you to a suite. He answers the door with a grin and welcomes you inside. And ah, it looks like our old place. Hey, Mizumi, come on in. I hope I'm not intruding. Thanks again for letting me interview you on such short notice. 
No problem. I'm always happy to see you, and if I can help the newspaper, even better. I can't believe I haven't seen your place yet. This reminds me of my suite from last year. As you pass the kitchen, you notice a sleepy-looking guy wearing headphones, flipping pancakes. He's quietly singing along to a rap song you've heard on the radio recently. Hi, you must be Ziggs for suit me. He doesn't seem to even notice you. He even increases his volume as he mutters the song. Hook. Just ignore him. Guarantee he won't notice us. We can try working out here in the living room. If his, uh, m music stylings get too disruptive, we can move to my room. Sounds good to me. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts, as a journalist and a friend. But first, coffee? Oh, please! Yes, please. Yes! You settle down on the couch as Zig edges past his sweet mate to pour two steaming mugs of coffee. Fresh from the French press. Returning to your burst roots? Hey, I gotta keep my marketable skills sharp in case this college student thing doesn't work out after all. Is that an act of concern? Is this part of the interview? Well, no, but I guess we should get started. You pull your text or notebook and a pin out of your bag. Should I state my full name for the record? This isn't an interrogation, Zach. Okay, first off, are you adjusting to classes? So, test suck, huh? How many credits are you taking? How are you adjusting to classes? Is that a nicer way of asking? Is dropping out an act of concern? It wasn't meant to be. Are you that worried about your academics? I'll admit I was worried at first, mostly about disappointing my mom and sisters, and I do feel like a fish out of water, sometimes in the lecture hall. But things are going better than expected, and my grades have been pretty constantly good so far. Right, thanks. Now I want to know a little bit more about the extracurricular component of your scholarship, and how you're enjoying football. Tell me, <clears throat> do you prefer offense or defense? I preferred offense when I was in football. How are you fitting in with the team? We already know that. Are you looking forward to being a hotshot? Mm, I guess we'll ask, though, because we gotta do it for the newspaper. Well, Chris has been great, of course. But... Some of these guys are just... They always act so tough. You acted like that the first book we met you. And the way they talk about women... You mean Manny? He's the worst of them, but there's definitely pressure all around to show off or whatever. Maybe they're just not really bad guys, but I just can't get used to the macho crap. I'm sure with a little more time on a team, you'll get to see a different side of them. Okay, I've got one last question. Your housing situation. Is it rough sharing a bathroom with five people? Are you bonding with your sweet mates? Bet you can't move to off campus. Is it rough sharing? No. How are you bonding with your sweet mates? Well, bonding is one word for it. Avoidance is another. So, it's not going any better? I was hoping things might change. I don't know what to expect. Most of them met at freshman orientation. I'm two years older, and I don't exactly have the most shun-shiny demeanor. No surprise, they want to cut me out. They're leaving you out of things? We've got that sick rooftop set up, like you did, and they'll go up there and hang out. I can hear them laughing and stuff without me. We just don't have anything in common. Different worlds, you know? Wow, that's rough. Eh, whatever. You know, I've always managed on my own. Interview questions will make for a strong article. So, it sounds like you're still getting your bearings, then. That's an understatement. I mean, the classes are fine, but I still kind of feel like I'm on the outside looking in, you know? Have you met anyone you like in your classes so far? It's always the fastest way to meet cool people. I don't need new friends. I have you guys. 
But college is such a great place for branching out socially. No, it's not. Yeah, well, not really my strong suit. And I agree. He flops back against the couch and rubs his forehead. I didn't mean to upset you. It's not you. It's just been pretty clear that I don't fit in. Not with my suit mates, not with football guys, at least. But hey, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, I don't need them. Sig, you've come so far already. You won't fit in if you don't try. Those guys suck anyway. You've come so far already. Remember when you thought you wouldn't even be able to get into college? Well, you made it. This has been a huge change in your life, and you're facing it all at once. So don't beat yourself up if the social stuff is going slowly. I'm happy that you're here at Heartfelt, and in my life. I truly think you deserve to be here. So far, you've been able to prove everyone wrong about you but yourself. Once you do that, I guarantee you'll feel this is where you're meant to be. Help Zig feel better about fitting in. At that moment, you hear a clatter come from the kitchen. Zig's sweet mate notices the two of you as he picks up the mixing spoon he drops. Whoa, sorry dudes, didn't even see you there. I guess I was lost in my own little world. Okay, new person. He pulls off his headphones and ambles over to the living room. Uh, I wasn't bothering you, was I? Oh, it's no big deal. He looked inquisitively at Quitsig. Ah, uh, Aaron? Mizumi, Mizumi Aaron. Hi, I'm a friend of Zig. I think my mouse has gone out, which is unfortunate. Whirr! Nice to meet you! Haven't had the pleasure of meeting any of Zigio's friends. Er, yeah. I guess there hasn't really been a good time. You guys want some pancakes? No, it's fine, really. Dude, I made like 30 pancakes. I mean, maybe not 30, but you get my drift. Please help me eat them. I can't do it alone. Zig, this would be a good moment for you to bond with your roommates. And he's a guy, and maybe you need a boyfriend, and maybe that's a thing. Cough, cough, nudge, nudge. I would love pancakes. Thank you. While Aaron returns to the kitchen, you lean over to whisper to Zeg. Aaron seems pretty nice. Why don't you like him? He calls me my dude and my man. Like, he knows me. It's so fake. Uh, I can see it being aggravating. Did you maybe... Did you ever think that maybe he wants to know you? You've got to start somewhere. But where do I go from there? We've different, very different people. How do I... He got himself off as Aaron approaches and places a generous plate of pancakes in front of each of you. Enjoy, my dudes! I'm gonna go eat in my room, so you can carry on in peace! With a small wave, he exits down the hall. You turn back to Zay. For a little while, conversation abates as you and Zig scarf down the pancakes. As you finish your last bite, you turn to Zig. I just had an idea. Why don't we all do something together? I have a suspicion you and Aaron might get along if you gave him a shot. I don't know, Mizumi. If we haven't clicked by now, I don't think we're going to. Let me guess. Diamond option. Cool, then. Zig, you can choose for yourself who you want to be friend. But... You really should give him a chance. You could thank him for the pancakes with, I don't know, ice cream or something. I guess I could do something like that. Man, this college social life stuff is weird. But you wouldn't be the Zig I know if you weren't constantly chasing a challenge or three. I think you've got the headline of your article in th there somewhere. Zig Ortega, chaser of challenges. I'll keep working on him. You and Zig finish your pancakes and set your plates down. Oh, hey, I actually have football practice soon. Want to walk me to the field? Sounds great. I'd love to say hi to Chris, too. Let me grab my jersey. Zig drops off the dishes in the kitchen on his way to his room. In a couple of minutes, you're headed out the door. As you and Zig make your way to the football field, you hear raised voices ahead of you on the path. You spot Manny in a heated argument with Chelsea. 
Come on, Manny. I'm just asking you to take me out to dinner every once in a while. You never have any time for me anymore. It's like you're cheating on me with football. Wait, where is she familiar? Oh, that's right. Kappa Psi Sigma. Are you hot for your teammates or something? Everybody says football is just a bunch of guys in tight pants touching each other's butts. Why would you say something like that? I don't ask what you and your sorority sisters do together when you're not hosting all your prissy parties. Um, you asked if we had sexy sleepovers, like, last week. I mean, I heard that Becky chick who got kicked out is pretty freaky. And like I said last week, I don't feel comfortable talking about that. Relax, babe. I wouldn't be mad if you did the nasty with some hot chick as long as I can wash next time. Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> dude. Oh, that's it. No, Zig, stop. Please. Please. Before we move on, please stop. Stop trying to white knight, dude. Stop. She ain't worth your time, for starters. And they're both kind of like Brian and, and Zoe from, from high school. Just stop, dude. Oh, no, he didn't stop. Okay. Zig stomps up to Manny and Chelsea and grabs Manny's shoulder. You sigh and run after him. Who do you think you are, talking to her like that? Whoa, dude, don't touch me! Yeah, back off. See, this is why you don't white knight, Zig. Wait, why are you taking a side? He was being a jerk to you and objecting you. Not to mention Becca. Yo, sweetheart, can you chill? We're trying to have a conversation here. First, you crash our party, then you butt into our business. Manny's my boyfriend. Seeing me as a sexual being is kind of the point. No, it's not. Chelsea looks at you angrily, but her tune is half-hearted. Chris dashes over with a few other players hot on his heels. Okay, listen, Manny the man. I've dealt with guys way tougher than you. Apologize to your girlfriend. And Mizumi, for that matter. Or what? You try anything, and I'll snap you like a twig. <sighs> mm. Can I punch them both? <laughs> Chelsea, are you really okay with how he talks to you? Zig, Manny, can you not right now? Everybody, stop. Zig and Manny stop to look at you, surprised by your sudden shout. I'm going to need everyone to just back up for one freaking minute. Mm. Sure, let's all wait around for our steam captain so we can talk about it. They'll send Chris and the other players make it over to you. The heck is going on here? And he's being his usual garbage self. And Zig's being an interfering thug with a savior complex. I can't disagree with that. Okay, sounds like we need to have a sit down. We'll start practicing a little bit, but our first, we're going to talk about this out. And he scoffs and wraps his arm around Chelsea's waist. Yeah, that's always your solution. Let's talk about our feelings. Yeah, right, I'm out of here. I came for football, not group therapy. Come on, babe. Manny storms off with Chelsea. I'm going to sit this one out, too. I need to blow off steam. Um, blowing off steam is literally what football's about. He kicks at the ground as he stalks off. Chris sighs and looks at his teammates gathered around. <sighs> we can still practice with all of them. Meet me over by the bleachers, guys. The players nod uncomfortably and head back the other way they came. Chris, are you okay? I don't know, Mizumi. I love this team, and I'm confident we'll come together on the field, but... <sighs> I feel like... It will be despite my so-called leadership. I just can't get these guys to be the team I know they can be. Manny's being unreasonable. That's not really your fault, Chris. Yeah, well, it sure feels that way. He sighs and turns back to look at the team warming up on the sidelines. I've got to get to pra got to get practice started. He watches Chris walks off despondently towards the field. Can Chris convince his teammates to get along? Keep playing sophomore to find out. So I have a question. <clears throat> and I actually had this happen when I was playing football. It's really... Well, I guess it's a hypothetical. 
How about play without Zeg and Manny? No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Bench warmers. And make them learn that you either need to get your 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 attitude straight and leave it off the field, or you're not going to be on the field. That's as simple as how it's put. You're not going to be able to change a person's character. Trust me. I am probably the biggest white knighter I know. And I have, with age and wisdom, learned you're not going to be able to advocate for everyone because there's going to be people just like this chick who are going to be like, no, it's perfectly fine, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no. That's why I chose Everybody Stop. I, I felt like going to Chelsea. I, it literally reminded me of Zoe and, and Brian from High School Story. So with that being said, um, I'm right now rolling around in my head. We have an advantage here, okay? We do have an advantage. Um, I could really quickly do... Not today. But I could really quickly do High School Story Diamond Edition. Though that Diamond Edition would kind of be affecting Book 2, which is supposed to come out in the future after Royal Romance. Um, I did get a message. I did message and talk to Pixelberry about a couple of things, one of which was Royal Romance coming out at the end excuse me, of September. And then also High School Story is being worked on. They don't have an ETA right now. I'm going to say October. Mid to end October, maybe November, is when High School Story will pick back up. Especially with one of the books such as Sophomore, uh, Love Hacks, Hero, you know, one of those books dying down. By the way, also Hero is taking a hiatus while Pixelberry works on it. Will it be back Friday? I don't know. Um, but right now it's taking a hiatus while they work on it. So I don't know if they've been affected by, um, you know, all the freaky weather crap more than they're letting on. I don't know if maybe um, they're just, I mean, they released a whole book all at once, so that was a new thing for them. I don't know if they're just overwhelmed, whatnot. Um, but try and be patient for those who watch my content. Um, please don't go to their Facebook page and berate them and, and barrage them. I see a lot of very disrespectful posts towards them. They're trying their hardest. And there's a lot of other apps. For instance, the new app that I have on my channel, Chapters, that has a lot of great stories in it. I'm showing the playthrough slowly. Um, please bear with them. Please bear with them. I mean, they're content creators. It's a small team. Uh, Diamonds is one thing, you know, to complain about that. I already looked in while I was thinking about doing High School Story Diamond Edition. Um, just for a Chapter 1 of High School Story is a good 60 diamonds. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm not looking forward to doing it, but I know it's the hot topic right now. I know people want it. And also, at the same time, I'm trying to keep my my channel alive is the best way to put it. Because especially with the PewDiePie thing recently and then the, the nuclear YouTube apocalypse. Well, anyway, let's not drag this out. With that being said, um, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Please feel free to like, comment, share, or subscribe. Head down to the description below. You can always, either if you're feeling generous enough, to support me and my content. Otherwise, you can follow me on social media. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.